Hey guys, so I get a lot of questions about what products I use on my hair and I'm going to make a video about it because honestly, the amount of stuff I use, the things that I do, it's a, it's a long process, you feel me? It's a lot to type, so I ain't finna type that, I'm going to give you a video about it, alright? I am rocking my The Voice shirts, I custom made this because that's who I am, that's what I am, that is my brand, that is what I represent. I am the voice. I'm the voice of the people. I'm the voice for anybody who wants to do better. That's what I'm here for, okay? I'm here to let it be known when things are not right. I'm here to let it be known that we will not take, you know, we won't take no shit. All right, I'll just say it bluntly. We ain't gonna take no shit as women, as black people, as a unit, okay? So that's what I'm here for, you know? So this is my shirt that says who I am. All right, so let's get into this video. It's going to be a long video, okay, because I use a lot of products, all right? I have almost $1,000 worth of products because natural products are not cheap, okay? Whoever told you that being natural is easier than a perm, they lied to you, okay? They lied to you. But you do have better results with your hair being natural because my hair is a lot healthier, a lot longer, a lot stronger than when my hair was permed. Granted, I love perms. I did love perms. And not I would go back. I consider going back sometimes, but I probably wouldn't just because I spent all this time, you know, really getting my my fine apple together. Okay, let's talk about this fine apple though. Okay, my hair did a lot. My hair has been through a lot, and only in a year and some change, my hair grew a lot. Okay, so let's get into these products coming straight to you, like your. Okay, so these are my as I am products that I use. I have their Long and Lux line, the strengthening shampoo and conditioner. I have their regular um basic um line which is the leave-in conditioner the detangling conditioner and the coconut co-wash so the coconut co-wash all right if you don't know what a co-wash is a co-wash is what you use on your hair to cleanse it without using shampoo right this is like having a shampoo and a conditioner all in one i'm be honest you feel me my hair feels really clean with it it feels really nice um i have no problems with it my hair is always soft honestly my texture really honestly pops when i put this in you know any product i put in my hair i like really finger it through like i'm really like in it i sometimes i i don't even do it in the shower like i'll do it outside the shower and i'll take a comb and i'll like comb it through my hair to make sure that all of all of my hair is getting this product you know so i can see what it's really like um what i like most about their long and looks well let me stick so the detangling conditioner i really like um when i started using this in the beginning of my natural um transition i guess it really started like showing me my stretch length like when i use this if i put this in and i'll like comb and i'll twist it like it would really look nice um stretched out um there as their leave-in conditioner never really had any problems with it uh not that it wasn't great or it was like bad it's just you no know, i didn't use it a lot like this is the only this is the one bottle that i bought and i have like more than half of it left because i started discovering new products right but i still keep these because i still use them um, they're long and I think I got the same thing out there because I have two of the strengthening shampoos. Sure do. All right. So I have the strengthening, their conditioner and the strengthening shampoo. What I loved about this strengthening shampoo is that it smelled really good and it didn't leave my hair like super dry the first time that I had used it. It was really nice. Like I loved it. I loved it. Like I ended up buying two, um, and got the conditioner. Both of them, they smell so good. Like, I don't know what it is about these natural products that contain pomegranate like pomegranate is just a beautiful scent okay for all hair products so i really like um i really like this one um i don't really use shampoo a lot only because you know it dries out your hair i mostly 90 percent of the time use my coconut co-wash um but i stumbled upon this because it was on clarence and once i see clarence products i'd be like mm, let me try it just because you know and i felt like it was really good you know, I really like the sign. I can recommend it for, you know, anyone, really, honestly. Um, I have 4B, 4C here. I say 4B slash 4C just because, you know, my curls are definitely loosening up a lot. Uh, the more natural hair products I use, the better my, like, the more defined my curls pattern is. Like, the more my curls are, like, they're changing. They're changing and I think it's mostly used to it's mostly because of all these products that I use so 4b slash 4c here these are keys gonna help you right I 
mean, I have some allocate in here in my bucket also. Um, their conditioners is what I use the most. They're pretty good. This honey and sage, like your hair, when I use this one, is the one I used yet. I didn't use these two. I didn't try them yet. But the honey and sage, I used it and I could still smell like the honey in my hair like afterwards like after it was already washed out like it was really good had my hair you know soft regular normal i'm not gonna say it was really good or really great or really bad or anything it was just you know only used it once so i can't give you a full you know thorough report on it but for now it was pretty good okay so the next one i have a really big bag here okay the myel line this is her stuff i keep my my yellow items in this bag i just got it at um the circle of sisters actually i was supposed to spend 50 dollars to get this bag but i was acting like a little brat and the lady gave it to me even though i only spent 30 dollars. i was supposed to go back and spend more but i don't know my mind just wasn't in the right place that day so i didn't get to you know really spend money the way i wanted to spend money um, also because I knew that I had a lot of things coming up, so it was probably best if I didn't spend too much money, but I really wish I spent more money, right? Okay, so these are my, you know, the, these are my go-tos, my, you gotta have this in order to get the job done stuff. You know, I have a lot of stuff by her, you know, not everything I'm completely thrilled with, so I'm not gonna show you everything. I'm just gonna show you the things that I particularly like, um, I will tell you guys a little bit about the new shampoo and conditioner she came out with. Um, I don't find it to be as great as, you know, I expected it to be. Only simply because, so it's her pomegranate and honey line. So the leave-in conditioner, the pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner. The pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner, guys, guys, guys. When I tell you this to change your life, I love this conditioner. I have three, three of them, okay? I love, I love this conditioner, okay? This conditioner is my life. This conditioner is my life. I love this conditioner. It makes my hair so soft, so nice, so manageable. It smells amazing. And when you use it you can even use it for twist outs like you know most products like this is just a leave-in conditioner most people not a lot of people do twist outs with anything that's not like a curlate or something you know but this if you want to do a twist out with this you will get amazing results because i love it i love it i love it it just smells so good so from her um pomegranate and honey line she came out with a um shampoo and conditioner um the shampoo and conditioner was pretty good um it wasn't great i'm not really a fan of shampoos to be honest just because shampoos dry out your hair and i don't really like that feeling you know sometimes if i use too much products in my hair throughout the week i would definitely use shampoo just because okay i know i need to like strip my hair of all this stuff that's in there but i wouldn't i don't use it all the time the only shampoo really that i this is not about them. I'm gonna stick to her, right? So <laughs> I'll I'll get to I'll get to that. But the Myel um shampoo and conditioner from her Primer Grand line, it wasn't that bad. Um, I definitely probably wouldn't rebuy it just because I'm not too I'm not too too impressed by it. I'll be honest, right? But it it was pretty good. It's pretty good. It might not have worked for me the way it could work for somebody else. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna discourage you from buying it because it was pretty okay. Um, the, when it came to the conditioner, you know, it's supposed to have these detangling aspects to it. And I didn't really feel that. I'll be honest. I didn't really feel that. Um, but the conditioner, you know, once I raked it through thoroughly, you know, for a, a good five to seven minutes, it was giving me a detangling result. It was making my hair softer. Um, definitely, I will include the pictures. Definitely after I used the conditioner, you know, the curls are pretty okay. Um, my hair did feel soft. I did like that aspect of it. Um, so probably this would be something I'd use not when I'm really trying to go somewhere and do something, have my hair amazingly perfect, but just like, uh, it's the middle of the week. Let me have a little wash day kind of thing. Right. Um, I use her Mongo, Mongongo oil, right? This is the pre, pre, pre shampoo treatment, the pre pool treatment. Um, I'm not 100% sure 
what a pre-poo is supposed to do for you right so i can't tell you if it really does what it's supposed to do but i definitely do use it every now and then i put it in my hair i leave it there for five minutes and then i wash my hair and my hair feels you know pretty good pretty nice um i would like to dive in more and figure out what exactly a pre-poo is supposed to do so that i can know if this is doing its job and i'm not just wasting my time putting it in my hair um but it is pretty good i guess i can say that it doesn't make my hair feel bad it doesn't make it feel indifferent you know it, it's it's normal but definitely this leave-in conditioner is my life it's amazing so i had some miraculous growth in the month of september miraculous i'm just that one last actually this i love this they're bad babasu and mint i pronounce everything wrong y'all gotta bear with me all right because i don't call these things by name i just know it by the way it looks right so when i see something i'm like all right i know this works for me i'm gonna buy it i'm not sitting here telling anybody the name of it right so this deep conditioner i really like it because it has mint in it and i I love that mint feeling and my hair feels so soft like I know recommended time to leave this in your hair is about 15 minutes all deep conditioners they tell you leave it in for 10 fine 15 minutes now nah, I leave deep conditioners in for an hour you know I know some people that leave in the deep conditioner for a day okay this deep conditioner is I leave it in for about 45 minutes sometimes an hour and it has my curls feeling so soft you know I love it I really love it it's just amazing right so this is one of my other go-to products i have this one i have a backup and i have a backup to my backup but i have to get my backup back up to my cousin because i wanted them to try the product because i thought it was really nice because either way i'll be on these streets buying more regardless if i have a backup backup or if i just have a backup you know so this is it's really good you gotta try it i love this one right so now back to this miraculous hair growth that i had okay on September 4th, I took out my braids and September 4th or the 5th? One of the two. So either the 4th or the 5th, I took out my braids and I measured my hair. My hair was about here. It was like about here, you know. I was like really pulling it, trying to get it down by my mouth. It's about, you know, around this area, okay? The other day, I washed my hair after I used the Myel, um shampoo and, and conditioner that pomegranate line i measured my hair just you know for the hell of it um i just wanted to see if i had any growth i didn't expect there to be any growth but child, my hair reached down to my chin right so i can take this part of my hair and bring it down to here okay my hair grew and i honestly i'm gonna i'm gonna say that it's because of these gummies Okay, because that's the only thing that I was really doing different with my hair, I could say. Um, my hair was in braids for a month, and I wasn't really paying it any attention. I wasn't oiling it down too much. I haven't been using, like, my Wild Grow products or anything. I've just been taking these gummies. I'm on my third bottle of gummies, so this is my third month taking it. So, in this last month, I'm really, really seeing results. Like, I went and bought two more bottles, so, you know, this should last me until the end of the year. So I can see my hair probably going to come down to like here by December, you know, because these gummies, they, they're doing it. They're doing it. The first month, I didn't really see anything. The second month, I didn't really, honestly, I didn't pay attention. But this last month here, where my hair from September 4th to last week, my hair grew. That's only like, that was only two weeks. That was only two, three weeks. So in two, three weeks, my hair did all of that growth and that is amazing so i went and bought me two more bottles of this at that circle of sisters all right y'all gotta get you some okay you gotta get you some the taste is good taste is great actually it's kind of like a little candy um i my only problem with gummy vitamins is that i have a lot of cavities so when i eat gummies they really hurt my teeth so i don't really chew these i really like leave them in my mouth and gum them like i gum them down until they're like mushy and then i like just swallow it because i cannot chew gummies like they really hurt my teeth really bad i have a lot of cavities because i chew a lot of gum and gum has sugar and it's not like i'm eating candy but i have cavities right boo woe is me right so even with not even chewing these fully just ingesting them like you know these are really good i really love them okay so go out and get 